Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over Buff Bunny's newest collection that is launching this Saturday at 11 a.m. PST, and that is the Newbury collection. I'm gonna be going over my sizing, how everything performs in the gym, and then just anything else that I think you need to know about the pieces in this collection. Also, I will add, if you find this review helpful at all and you wish to support me on launch day, I do have a support code with Buff Bunny. It is just my name, it's Courtney, so so there's a spot on the checkout page and there's a little box and it says support your favorite athlete and if you'd like to support me you can just type my name in there and then I do earn a small commission off of all the sales that I make if you guys would like to support me that means so much thank you so much if you do use my code on launch day forward your order confirmation to Courtney at CourtneySaracino.com that way I can enter you into my monthly giveaway I'm gonna start doing a monthly buff bunny giveaway as a way to just say thank you for anyone who takes the extra step to type in my name on launch day or any other time that you make an order I really appreciate it and I really appreciate you guys and I just want to I just like I want you to feel my appreciation and with all of that said let's go ahead and jump into this review all right friends before I jump into showing you all the pieces that I received for this collection I wanted to show you just a big overview of everything that's launching so this is everything launching in the Newbury collection and within that we have five different leggings four different shorts six different sports bras four different tank tops two different long sleeve tops two jackets one bodysuit and one jogger and then we have some accessories. We have hair scrunchies so you can match your outfits. Like how cute, I can't use those right now, but eventually we have the Game Changer backpack and we also have glute bands launching. So there is definitely something for everyone. And when you look at these colors, oh, these earthy tone colors, I just think the color palette in this collection is so beautiful. And everything in this collection is made from Buff Bunny's two signature fabrics. First, we have the Nubre fabric, which is a custom blend, lightly brushed fabric, super, super, super soft. This is 74% nylon, 26% spandex. I would say it's like a light medium support and it's very, very stretchy. And then the Nimbus fabric is more breathable, lightweight cooling fabric. It has two-way stretch and there's only two pieces in the Nimbus fabric and that is the Horizon long sleeve and the Terrain tank. Okay friends, first up we have the Legacy Legging in Vineyard Dark Red. I'm wearing a small. The Legacy Leggings are very true to size. The waistband is slightly more tapered than the Rosa Leggings, which is why I don't have to size down in these ones like I do in the Rosa Leggings, which I'll go over later. They have this super beautiful butterfly contour glute seam on the back, which is just these three lines going up, and I think it's just like a nice cute detail. This is also available in the Bossy print in black and pink, because I know the Bossy print was really popular. It's just like a cute little polka dot print. They have very minimal cellulite coverage. Cellulite does show through on the leggings for me. Not like over but overly exposed or anything but just like I see it and then also they do show sweat marks but again I didn't notice them that much and I sweat a lot on leg days. <laughs> And next up, we have the Rosa Leggings in Secret Garden Teal Blue. I am wearing an extra small. Again, if you're a first time Buff Bunny buyer, I recommend Rosa Leggings or Legacy Leggings. Now, in both the Rosa Leggings with the pockets and without the pockets, I always size down because I notice that the waistband tends to slide down a little bit during my workouts, even if I'm doing upper body or lower body. It's not like a lot, but it's it's still, it, it was enough where I noticed I was like, oh, I'm pulling my leggings up. Maybe if I just size down, it'll fix that problem. And it does fix that problem completely. And I think because the fabric is so stretchy, the extra smalls don't feel too tight anywhere else, like on my thighs or anything. And next up, the Latitude Leggings in Midnight Navy. I think that I accidentally was sent an extra small in these ones because I asked for the extra small in the Rosa Leggings, but nonetheless, they turned out to fit me extremely well and they have a good level of compression. I would still say that they are true to size and I would only size down if you want more compression. I will say the waistband is a little tighter, but it's like not uncomfortably tight, but I would just, I think that they are true to size. And the difference in these leggings from the other two leggings are they have a crisscross design going down the front of the leg as well as a small pocket in the back. You could probably fit like your key or like an ID in there. Very quickly, I'll go over the leggings that I did not get in this collection, but I have tried before. So we have the Monarch leggings. The Monarch leggings have a V tapered waistband with the butterfly contouring on the back, similar to the Legacy leggings. If you picked up the Siren leggings from the Under the Sea collection, this is the same waistband from my understanding. They also have cute little side pockets. I would say this is just like a cute legging to wear if you want to switch it up because, you know, they got that cute little waistband. So it's just something to jazz up your wardrobe. And the last pair of leggings in this collection are the Rosa Pocket Leggings. They're exactly like the Rosa Leggings, just with pockets. So personally, I would still size down because I know I would have that same issue in the waistband. 
I know I didn't talk about anything really negative, but I just like, I genuinely don't have anything negative to say about any of the leggings. I wear them every week. I wear them lifting heavy. I wear them on upper body, chest day, back day, leg day, everything. Uh, my belt rubs against them. I don't have any of the like pilling. I just, I think that they're just good, like quality leggings. <laughs> Moving on over to the sports bras, we got the Solar Sports Bra. I'm wearing a size small, and this is the Vineyard Dark Red. This is my favorite bra from this collection. It's a simple razor back. It's not as long line as the other bras. It's just a simple, cute sports bra that matches so nicely with the leggings. I would say it's medium to high support. Also, all the bras in this collection come with removable padding, and the padding is the same color as whatever the sports bra is, so it helps them blend in a little bit more, so that's a nice little detail. Next up, we have the Monarch Sports Bra in a small. I'm wearing the Vineyard Dark Red Bossy Print. Now, I loved this bra in the last collection. I think that they've made some tiny adjustments to this bra because it feels kind of like it's cutting into my armpits. It feels a little stiffer. It doesn't feel as, like, not loose. It just doesn't feel as comfortable as the last one felt. And I don't know. I also just have a really wide back, so... Sometimes bras fit me weird. Um, so yeah, this one I wasn't a huge fan of just because I think that they changed the way of like the fit. <laughs> Look at her. She's beautiful. And I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about the sports bra. <laughs> so the alpha sports bra I'm wearing in a size small in secret garden teal blue. You guys, this is one of my favorite sports bras ever. I love the crisscross back. I love the way I think I just think it looks so flattering on my back. It's definitely a more light support sports bra. And if you have bigger boobs, you're going to probably feel a little bit more exposed. But I, I don't have any, so I don't feel exposed. <laughs> but yeah, that one is my favorite for sure. OK, next we have the revolution sports bra. I'm wearing a small in golden hour yellow. This sports bra is coming in the most colors out of any of the bras in the whole collection. It has a cute strappy back. You know, it's just, it has a square neckline. It's just a cute little design. It's a cute little staple. It is medium support as well. And I like pairing it with these shorts. Look how bright it is, so cute. And here's the Geo sports bra. I'm wearing a small in onyx black. It has a high neckline. I don't know what it is about high necklines, but I feel like they make my shoulders pop. So I love wearing them on shoulder or back days. It's super strappy back. I think it's like a cute design that I haven't seen before. Ignore that I strapped the back wrong. I literally never wear regular bras. So honestly, this was expected. I'm not even surprised. Okay, I would say that this bra is medium to high support. And I just really love black sports bras. I think they're so versatile. I just feel badass in the gym wearing an all black outfit. Oh, so cute. So yeah, I would highly recommend this bra, especially if you have a larger bust. And another bra in this collection is the Rosa bra. Now the Rosa bra is very long lined and I just personally don't like the way that it looks on my body. I think that it's a really cute simple sports bra option especially for bustier girls. I think you would definitely feel supported in this but for me I just feel really covered up and I feel like it fits me awkwardly because I feel like it's meant to be supportive and I just like don't have anything to support. So personally it's not one I gravitate to but I think that it is a great simple staple option for anyone looking for a higher support sports bra. And we've reached the shorts. Okay, this is the Legacy short. I'm wearing a small, and this is in the color Canyon Rust. First off, I want to say that this length of short always rolls up on me no matter what brand. My thighs just take it away. So if you do have a similar build to me, they'll probably roll up on you as well. I'm obsessed with this color because it's not like a super bright, loud, in-your-face orange. It's like that earthy, toned-down orange. I don't know. I just feel like you could wear it with so many colors. I love it paired with the Golden Hour Yellow Revolution Bra. Another thing is, with my shorts, I love to throw on oversized tees. I tuck my shirt up into my sports bra sometimes or just let it hang and it looks like I'm not wearing pants, but it's a whole vibe. I love it so much. Next up are the Rosa shorts. I'm wearing a small and riverbed blue. Now I do not size down in the Rosa shorts like I do in the Rosa leggings. I just, I don't have the same slip down problem in these that I have in the leggings. So I would say that they are very true to size. They're a really similar fit to the Legacy short. I would say the only difference is the Legacy shorts have that butterfly contour in the back. Both are really good short options. I noticed I'm definitely preferring the four inch inseam shorts instead of biker shorts now. I just noticed that the biker shorts from Buff Bunny sometimes tend to dig into my thighs like that bottom seam and my thighs are only getting bigger. They're only getting juicier. Okay, so the two biker short options, we have the Legacy Biker Shorts, and that is a 7-inch inseam, and then we also have the Rosa Pocket Biker Shorts, and that is a little longer, and that comes in the 10-inch inseam, and as you can see, there are different color options for both of those. I think if I was going to pick a biker short, I would go with the Legacy Biker Short, just because I like the fit a little bit more of that, and it's just a little stretchier. 
Oh my goodness, last but certainly not least, we have the Geo bodysuit. I'm wearing a small in onyx black. I feel like an absolute badass wearing this bodysuit and I love it paired with a flannel. Can definitely wear a sports bra underneath if you need the support. There is no built-in bra. I think it's because of the cutouts in the back. I put padding in them and it stayed in place just fine for me. I just like slip it in and the compression was enough to hold it in place. Yeah, overall just a super cute option for a bodysuit. I will say, they do roll up. The shorts were rolling up constantly and I had to unroll them so much in the gym and I was doing chest and I was doing shoulders. So if that is an issue that you don't want to deal with, probably not the bodysuit for you. Also, I had a little bit of gapping on the sides by my like, I don't know, by my stomach. So you'll see it kind of sticks out a little bit on the sides right there. And I think that's because it might have been made a little bit for like longer torsos and I think I have a shorter torso and I don't think sizing down would have solved that issue. So just to let you know, there is that little piece right there. Also the zipper, when you zip it up and then you just fold the zipper down, it, it has like a little lock so it's not just gonna slide open. Oh, also I saw girls pair this with jeans and I thought it was so cute and I really, really like it. So I just thought I'd show you real quick. And I wanted to show you guys other pieces that are launching in this collection. So we have a couple tank top options and a couple long sleeve options. I just can't wear the long sleeve options yet because, you know, it's too dang hot here. I don't have the time. And I just, I usually work out in a sports bra, but I just wanted to show you guys if you guys prefer tank tops. So you can pause and read. And this is another tank top option that is coming out. It's called the Fountain Tank. And I wanted to talk about this one specifically because it has a built-in shelf bra liner with removable padding, body contour fit, and a razor back. And it is in a full-length option. And I love tank tops that have built-in bras because then that means you don't have to wear a regular bra with them. So I really just wanted to show you guys this one, especially for anyone who wants like a more covered fit. So this is, I think this would be a great option. And here are the last couple pieces from the collection. We have the Aurora tank. I was eyeing that one. I think that's cute. I like that kind of like high neckline. Again, I feel like the shoulders would be popping. And then we have the Rosa crop jacket. I know that jacket is soft. It's just, again, it's too hot here. It's too hot here for that nonsense. And I don't need a windbreaker right now either. But the thing that I did like about the windbreaker is that it says it comes with a removable hood. And I just think that's cute. Like, oh, I can have the option to have a hood. I love options. You know, I don't know. I don't know. And that is gonna conclude this review of the Newbery collection. I hope that you guys found this review helpful. If you did, please make sure to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more videos with me. Also, if you guys have any further questions about sizing, feel free to shoot me a DM. I'm gonna be checking my DMs constantly, making sure I answer any questions you guys have. And then I'm also gonna put up more question boxes on my story on my Instagram before launch so I can answer any last minute questions. So make sure you head over there. Overall, I'm super excited about this launch I think they have a lot of nice pieces a lot of like nice soft quality pieces that I have been wearing constantly so I'm really really excited for you guys to try this launch again anyone who chooses to use my support code on launch day thank you so much it literally means the world to me I can't thank you enough and don't forget to forward your order confirmation to Courtney at CourtneySaracino.com that way I can enter you into my little giveaway okay all right friends have a terrific day and a terrific week and I will see you all in the next video